mind be formless, shapeless, like water. Tell me, is it whack up in the air? Rappers scattered off the gear. I can map him, get the yeah, It's like a tracker, get distracted, send him back like in the mail. Not a fraction of them real. Catch him lacking, run the drill. Run. Running through the shit like a motherfucking day job. Y'all need a fucking day job. This big boy business in you bitches, poly made soft. Rap shit is under me and two y'all that is paid off. These bitches need a break off. I done lit some shit, I know I'm never gonna forget. I might tell it to my children when they really with the shit. I ain't known for what I get, I'm known for everything I give. That's why my album came out popping fucking. An album of the year, my circle swore, but my homies know I die for them. Girls know I ride for them. Fam, good, I manifest the day when we all ride for us. Brothers face the judge and need a statement. I'm alive for them. This protocol, we living by the code. That's the lie for them. Yeah. And take one, action. Alright, so we just had the boys around and we put the first coat down. Um, it was my first time mixing up like a big tin of paint, so I was a little bit worried. But it's pretty easy, it's pretty simple, you just follow the instructions. And then, so we started rolling it out, and it went really well. Like, it didn't really start going hard like they said it would. And it only took us about 30 minutes or so. And then, yeah, so it's super red now. But that's just the undercoat there. The instructions say that it's going to take about 8 hours to dry. So we're just going to leave it for a day, come back tomorrow, I'm going to put another undercoat on top of this one. So two undercoats. Um, just because we've got leftover. So I think because we put thinners in, so it thinned it out heaps and then it rolled on smoother. So we put a second coat on top. And I just want it to last a long time before it starts fading and like chipping and stuff like most of them do. So I'll see you tomorrow. going down to do our second undercoat. It's had enough time to dry now, left it for two days. But um, just a little update on the chickens. We've got pretty much a farm going now. You can follow that on Zara's Instagram page. This is um, Optimus, the rooster. He goes off every morning, or well, most mornings anyway. He's pretty good on the dot. And we've got a bunch of other ones, I can't remember all their names. Um, but they run around out here, flicking shit everywhere. And they just have a good time. Got a couple little chicks as well. Um, we just, once they get a bit older, then we'll have a few eggs. Got three little ducks. But um, I haven't really been filming much on that on YouTube. If you want to see more farm stuff, which you probably don't, let me know. Um, yeah, if you want to see it, just go on Zara's Instagram. And it, she's always playing with them. So this is what we got. I'm just gonna give it a quick blowout with the blower. Mix up, mix up the paint, and then do another coat. So this is the this is the undercoat here. I don't know if that's the finish red, but that's what it looks oh. like at the moment. Can you see that? Um, so you got to add part B to it. <laughs> all these instructions. <laughs> got it. Got it sorted. <laughs> um, so we put the part B in and some thinners. We'll roll out that coat. This time I'm going to use a paintbrush and um, go around the edges and like. Make it a li little bit nicer. Just quickly. That looks really difficult, like, where you're doing it. Yeah, it is. Oh, you got it? Cool. Now we mix it up. Step back. No, you step closer. <laughs> yeah, but this time I'm thinning it less. Good noticing though. Good observation, Daniel.
Only because that one there looks a little, like, watered down. I want it to be a little bit thicker. Well, so we just got the second um, undercoat going well. It's heaps darker this time. Put a little bit less thinners in it. Um, so now we've got heaps of leftovers. And we're just going to run up and do the garage up there. See how much we can put down. We ended up having enough paint to do a little bit up here um, in the under house garage, which is like a three car garage, and we just missed that last panel, which was fine. But it was so much harder to, because obviously it wasn't ground down, grinded down or whatever. And I've got like blisters on both thumbs, like raw. It's not fun. But hopefully it's worth it. So we're going flat out because the paint was starting to go a bit hard, but we had a heap left over so we quickly rushed up here um, and started without any prep, just quickly blew it out and swept it. It is the top garage so it doesn't really matter, but we quickly rolled out as much as we could. We did a quick mask job and um, we got almost all the way, which is surprising. I didn't know we were going to get that far, but um, yeah, I put less thinners in it this time. so. It was a bit darker and a bit lasted a bit more. So gonna have red in here as well. I don't know how much um top coat we're gonna have left to go in here, but anyway. Um so we'll go for a walk down and check out the shed. We'll go watch it dry. Look at that. It's looking so much better with that second coat. Build in all the patchiness. Oh. It's like a hundred times better. So keen to see what the top layer does. But um, I went around with a paintbrush this time as well and like, what do you call it? Cut in all the edges. So there's no old shitty bits left and, and it came out way nicer. So much more happy with it today, but yeah, I'm going to let it sit for two days and then do the top coat. Just got the top coat down and it's looking beautiful. It's got a nice gloss to it, way nicer red, more like the one I was looking at in the picture um, compared to the undercoat. The undercoat looked pretty nasty. Um, but thanks to the mates that came down to help me out, um, appreciate that. And we're going to do one more top coat and then wait seven days and then we'll be done. Sweet, so it's the last day of painting hopefully. i say that out of hope. Um, so hopefully it's the last day of painting today. Just doing the last top coat so we're going to have a second layer. It's going to make it nice and thick and extra glossy. And the only thing is, today it's super windy. Uh, for some reason, it's windy here. We don't usually get much wind, but it is right now. <laughs> what? Um, so I'm just worried about leaves and dirt blowing into the paint. But I'm just going to leaf blow around and hopefully it, the wind dies down. <laughs> Got a few mates coming around to help out, so I'll see them soon and then we'll get started. My brother-in-law's new bike, is it still class as new? Oh, it's still always been new. Yeah. <laughs> Had it for how long? Uh, three months, four months. But Had it for a few years months. Old, 11 years old. Yeah, nice. Looks beautiful in the sun, eh, when you're coming up there. I could hear you from down the street. <laughs> Did you know it was me? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, done the last coat, got a couple of mates around. Um, Josh brought his 180, so check that out now. Just got one of my mates, Josh, here to help out with the painting, and he's brought his 180 down. We got ground zero. 
Pretty tidy, eh? Pretty clean. Oh, right. Tell us about your car. So, all original, matching VIN numbers, under 100,000 kilometres. Nice. SR20 turbo manual, so it's pretty cool. Sick. You gonna pop the hood? Super basic mods. Are your hands clean? Yeah. Not red? Yeah, nice. I still have never owned an SR28. They're good. I don't know why. Everyone hangs shit on them, but... I need one. It's been good to me. Yeah. That's good, eh? Yeah. It's a good setup. Yeah, just a T28 exhaust front mount. A yeah. bit of extra boost and... Yeah, nice. Fuel pressure reg, it's good. Are you going to bring it out to the track? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, definitely. Once I get it tuned, put an ECU in it, yeah. it'll be good. At the moment, it doesn't make that much power. Maybe like 200 if I'm lucky. That's all you need, though. Yeah. Do Needs you... a better diff, too. This diff sucks. Oh, <laughs> it's, op it's like half open. It's viscous. Yeah. You need a proper diff, eh? Like, yeah. I've heard I... you can get these shimmed, which makes a big difference, but yeah. I just, don't know. Just skip that process and <laughs> go straight to the like, proper just diff. Just go straight to well, the I had a, diff. Um, yeah, when I did my swap, I put a, the RT3 cradle in the back. Yeah. And then it just had the R200 stock. Yeah. But it's LSD, and it, it was the same thing. It would open up halfway. Mm. And it just ruined the whole track day. Like, yeah, exactly. You couldn't it's just it. like you don't know when it's going to open on you. You don't yeah. know when it's going to lock. It's, it's just unpredictable. It's actually like the worst thing in the world. Yeah. Um, well, what... I've definitely got to get out on the track. Then. Yeah, see. Well, when the track's open. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> hopefully it's like cheap as to go. I reckon, it will. I reckon it'll be expensive because be... everyone wants to go. <laughs> so they'll hike Hard the price. Demand. Yeah, either way, it's going to be one or the other, eh? Yeah. Like, what's your next mod you're doing? Uh, I'm doing five stud in maybe two oh, weeks' yeah. time. I've ordered a bunch yeah, of sweet. stuff off GK Tech. So oh, nice. S15 five stud, so I get a little bit bigger brakes in the front. Yeah. Yeah, GK Tech's freaking awesome, mate. Like, yeah. Just makes it way easier. And I'm getting the roll center correction kit, which will give me oh, a bit yep. more lock, hopefully. That's the same I'll show you my I've stock off now, yeah. and then we'll compare it once I put the kit on. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, that'll be good. Fitment's pretty on point, eh? Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh. Nice. It went further than that, but it bounced back. Yeah. Is that because it rubbed? Hits? No, that's just... Look at that stock angle. Good tyre there. <laughs> yeah, wow, i got heaps more of that yeah, roll center kit, eh? So, um... I always get surprised um, every time I go to turn. Yeah. It's just like, whoa, I'm yeah. turning so sharp now. I'm going to be able to park so mint. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you literally over park it every time. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Sweet. Super simple. Nice. All right. I'll, um, I'll see you out of the track. <laughs> so we just did the last coat, hopefully. Hopefully it's the last coat. Because I'm sick of painting, eh? And there's some big ass bloody grasshopper in the paint. Or like a, it's a bloody dragonfly. There's a dragonfly in the paint. So you just gotta wait seven more days and then we can finally use it. Next up is the, the shelving. I'm gonna set all that up and then I start ordering some tools. Exciting. Thanks for watching another episode guys. Appreciate everyone's support, watching the videos and loving the content. If you like this video, drop a like, comment, and subscribe.